when you were forced to perpetrate a situation that you knew wasn't cool, I'm, I'm guessing that it wasn't easy. That it cost you something to keep it going. You would be correct. And I'm also guessing that you did the best that you could at the time. Yeah, pretty much. Well, then you know what Willow and I are going through. I'm done here. I'm telling Willow it's over. I will be out of the picture, and Michael and Willow can finally live happily ever after. Okay. Yeah. That's definitely one way to go. You've got another option? I do, Chase. Why settle for a graceful exit when you can make one with lasting impact? Chase, I think it's your nature. I think it's your inclination to be kind and gentle to both Michael and Willow. But they've treated you like dirt. Your wife and your best friend are screwing each other. Come on, it's, it's a complicated situation. I'm sure Willow felt obligated to marry me. I, everybody thought that I was gonna die. She thought she was doing the right thing. Maybe. And that does make sense of what's happened in the past, but it doesn't jibe with what's happening now. Michael and Willow are clearly still attracted to each other. They can't keep their hands off of each other. Oh, don't remind me. I think I need to remind you, Chase. Because your health crisis is over, you've been released from the hospital, and they've had every opportunity to be honest with you, and yet they've kept you in the dark. Doesn't that piss you off? Don't you think you deserve better? When oh, seems awesome, okay? But she's not family, so I don't get to judge her. You, on the other hand, are not only family, but you're probably the most principled quarter mean since Lila, so I hold you to a higher standard. So when you admit to me that there is, in fact, a you and Willow, I can't help but wonder, where does that leave Chase? Family meeting! We could be looking at a major crisis. Okay, about this SOS. How big, how embarrassing, and how much is it gonna cost us to get out of it? Monica, you should have a seat. That bad? Oh my God, can someone just spit it out? What happened? In a word, Tracy. Oh my God. I talked to her earlier to keep her in the loop now that Austin is in the picture. Wait, hold on, I, I don't understand. I thought that Tracy never wanted to hear the letters EOQ again. Yeah, well, that doesn't mean she wants someone else to have their hands on the family company. Well, I doubt Granny was shocked by the arrival of another Q interloper. She was expecting this, and that could prove to be a real problem for the rest of us. Your wife, who you're clearly head over heels in love with, having an affair with your best buddy. I think you have every right to your outrage. I am mad at the situation, but Willow has the biggest heart of anyone I've ever known. If I had any clue that she didn't want to marry me, that she wasn't just as excited as I was, I wouldn't have boxed her into this. Willow's a grown woman. She could have chosen to tell you the truth at any point since you left the hospital. I put her in a horrible situation, and she doesn't deserve the anger that I am feeling. All right. Then let's just talk about Michael. The man who you consider to be your best friend. You didn't box him in with a proposal. And when you leave the hospital, he offers you a chance to stay at the Quartermain Mansion, the big house. Seemingly a generous offer, but is it really? Because if he knows that you're there, then he can still sneak down to the gatehouse and screw your wife. And you can't do anything about it because he can't go down there on your own because you're on a wheelchair. Okay, that is enough. Michael betrayed you. Isn't it time for some payback? Why does any of this matter to you? 